Hi guys, and welcome to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program on Engineer256's channel. Huzzah! Alright, so Kerbal Space Program is a space simulator made by Squad. So what we're going to do is we're going to start a new game. And we're going to be in career, which means we have to earn science and we don't get all of the parts as soon as we start. Actually, let me pick a flag first. I like picking flags first. Um... Let's pick that one. <laughs> Why not? All right. So we're going to call this to the ends of the galaxy. G-A-L-A-X-Y. Help if I can spell. All right. Start. So since this game is a bit more lag intensive, um, we're not going to have as much smooth speeds as we would with Minecraft. Not to mention, this is an older machine that I'm playing on, so there's that too. Alright, since we're in career mode, we start off with just the base pod and base parts. So what I'm going to do here is set up a simple rocket in order to gather science so we can unlock more items. Because more items means we can do more cool stuff. Hooray! Alright. Um, no, I don't want to transmit anything. And then untitled spacecraft. Let's title it. First rocket. Now see. Alright. The first. Did I spell first? No, I did not. <laughs> F I R S T. The first steps towards greatness. I need to put an O in towards. Woo! Because on this channel, significantly different from the Ramble Ring, we're going to spell everything right. Alright. So, towards greatness. G R E A T N E S S. And we're going to save it. And then we're going to launch. All right. So I already know that I've, I have one issue, which is what a lot of people do when they play Kerbal Space Program have, which is staging. So if you've forgotten to do so, like I have here, what you want to do is you want to grab that and put it in the stage because it counts down instead of up. So our first stage here is our solid fuel boost booster, which. Um, once you start it, as you can see here, it won't stop. I cannot change it at all. Like, if I put up the throttle or bring it down or cut it off completely, it doesn't change the thruster at all. So what we're going to do here is send this up, and then after it runs out of fuel, we'll do some science up in the sky, and we'll try and get some more cool parts for more science expeditions because this game is based around science unlike the ramble rings channel where it revolves around a lot of magic here we're going to use a lot of science so what we're going to want to do right now is we're going to want to get a crew report and keep that data and then the game the way that science works is there's individual biomes within the game so what you want to do is you want to collect as much science as possible in different places. I happen to know that the Kerbal Space Center, or the KSC, is its own individual biome, al along with the launch pad, and then I believe the runway as well, but I'm not completely sure on that last one. So what we're going to do is after we land, we're going to uh, get out, plant a flag, collect some samples, all that cool stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to time warp, and as you can see the number here turned red, which means that there's quite a high possibility of danger. And we also have to watch our altimeter, because if we deploy our, if we have it too fast when the parachute opens, actually, because if I zoom out, it's not open, it will cause the parachute to cut. So yeah, so what we want to do, because this actually stops at 500 and it opens up and then we slow our descent and all cool things happen like like that so once we land we're going to exit the pod and 
do all that cool science stuff because science is great it's good all real things should run off of science i mean we don't have any of that flim flam magic going on here all right so there might be an explosion here so let's let's check this out yep an explosion but we landed safe so all is good so what we're going to do now is we're going to grab another crew report and keep that data we're going to eva all right get off of there and let's run over here a little bit zoom in take a surface sample and keep that data and make an eva report also keep that data and plant the flag because all good astronauts need a flag and ours happens to be kind of like a jackson pollock painting the first baby steps to the stars all right so now that we've done that we're going to again board that so we can recover it and get more science because we recovered recovered the vessel so to press F to grab, F to board, come up here, recover vessel. All right, so there's our first mission. So I'm feeling pretty good, even though we did have a minor explosion, and we got a whopping 19 science. So now that we've done that, we're going to go to R&D, or research and development, and unlock this. Basic rocketry. How hard can rocket science be anyway? So we're gonna research that, and I believe we have enough points for a couple more pieces. So do I want survivability, stability, or general rocketry? Um, I'm gonna go for su survivability because it will let us have a higher up module, not to mention it gives us landing gears and radial parachutes. More safety, huzzah! Oh, we don't have enough science. That's okay though. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go on another mission and build a better rocket. So we wanna get rid of that. We're gonna go up here to our propulsion and instead of using a solid booster, we're going to use liquid fuel. And this rocket's going to be significantly different because I'd like to get higher and do s and have a suborbital hop within the first episode. I know, crazy, but and for all of you guys that don't know what a suborbital hop is, if you don't understand orbital com mechanics, let me speak right here. <laughs> um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to stay within the sphere of influence, or gravity will still affect us, but we won't be in the atmosphere. So that's cool. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make our rocket a bit more stable when it lands and a bit more stable when it gets out there. We better not forget science either. Science is a good thing. So let me put those right there. Um, and yeah. All right. So a, tr a neat trick I learned is when you're setting up to launch and you don't have the docking clamps in order to fly up and they hold on your spaceship is you can put the decouplers on top of these and it'll create a much more stable surface so so now we're gonna rename it second rocket and we're going to rename the description suborbital hop maybe because i'm not sure if this is going to actually make it or not 
I know it'll definitely, definitely fly. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... Uh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm not going to use action groups yet. All right. Jebediah just flew, so uh, why don't we... Actually, let's go to the astronaut complex. So what you can do here is hire a whole bunch of astronauts or victims. And... Uh, <laughs> So, instead of the main three, let's put... Oh, you look good. Ribsol Kerman. So, right. And that looks good. So, I believe we're ready for launch. So, what we're going to do is we're going to save and launch. So, with this one... I also forgot to do staging again. I'm really terrible at that. But, <laughs> I'll show you how I'm going to set it up when we get onto the launch pad. All right, now that we're here, those will detach, but we also want these four in the same stage. And then we're going to add another stage to keep this separate. And I think we'll call it good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move at half thrust first in order to make sure that we're stable. We also want to press the T key in order to enable SAS or better control the rocket. All right, so we'll launch in three, two, one, ignition. And there we go. And you see it has a clean, beautiful takeoff. And we're gonna go ahead and do some science here. Observe the mystery goo. The goo jiggles and wobbles as the ground flies. All right, we're gonna keep that data. And we're just gonna thrust up a bit, and once the fuel is about halfway on this one, so let's go to stage one. We are going to engage our main rocket in order to not have it blow itself up, because that occasionally happens to me. Ah, right, what's the long, what's the phase four? Right, Kermit, you can do it. I mean, I built your rocket after all. The champion of science. How could this go wrong? I mean, seriously, it's stable. And there's the moon. Eventually, I'd like to get there. Hopefully, in the next couple of missions. That might be next episode or the episode after that, though. Not quite sure. We're gonna try and do this as quickly as possible so we can do a lot more cooler missions like going to the other planets. I forgot to enable that earlier, but that's okay. Right, I'm gonna put up, put it up to full thrust because now we're carrying this dead weight into an orbit with us. Right now, if I open up our orbit map, you see we're not actually getting that far. So once we reach about 2,000 or 2,500 kilometers up in the air, I'm going to put us at a 90 degree angle, which will circular circularize what is going to be part of our orbit. And hopefully we can get good sub-orbit, and fly. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, no, 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 okay, there you go. Oh, we got stars, that's a good sign. And, come on, just a little more, and we're in orbit, all right. So what I'm gonna do here is cut the engine. Kind of silly, I know, but I don't wanna go to out too far and then not be able to uh, get this guy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to observe another mystery goo. The goo seems to be getting very cold now. And that's a whopping seven science, so we're going to keep that data. All right, we're also going to do a crew report. You've recorded the crew's assessment of the situation. Keep that data. And now we're going to rotate it a bit. Oh, wait, the other direction. There we go. Yep. Looks like we're descending already, so I might want to uh, give us some more thrust. Because I don't want to descend too fast. Alright, let's look at our orbit. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. You think maybe we could get over to there? No, 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 no. We're going to land in the middle of the ocean, but that's okay. Later we'll have more advanced crafts. So, yeah. Alright, let's cut it off there. All right, we've already got a crew report, so what we're going to do is we're going to EVA. It's kind of dangerous, but that's okay. EVA report. You're starting to feel you should really get back in that into the ship. 
And we're going to keep that data and also follow his advice because we don't want to lose him. Because that's not good. All right, I'm going to burn the remainder of our fuel in order to stay in orbit as long as possible. But we're only we're already falling to the surface, so I feel that our mission isn't going to last too much longer. And I also have to be careful because water in Kerbal Space Program is not that good. It's like hitting concrete in real life. I mean, I love their rockets, but uh, they may want to work on water physics just a little bit. Because if you barely touch it, so like say I came from the KC and I just drive off because you can. I might explode my ship just barely touching the water. We'll also execute one of these science experiments right now. Oh, we're getting re-entry effect. Uh, we'll keep that data because that's in our upper atmosphere. And that leaves one science project left for when we actually get closer to the ground. I'm also going to activate the parachute to hopefully save us a little bit. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Careful now. Careful now. All right. We seem to be wobbling a little bit. Just, just a little. <laughs> All right. So that seems like another successful landing, as long as nothing goes wrong. But let's skip ahead a little bit, because I don't like waiting for uh, all that stuff to happen. All right. So now, looks good. Let's uh, observe the mystery goo. And we're going to keep that data. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I forgot to. Oh, wow. All right. Well, he survived. So, huzzah! Let's do an EVA. And uh, take a surface sample. You've taken a sample of the water. It appears to be dramatically increased the surface humidity of anything it touches. Wow. All right. And an EVA report. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here, was it? Well, you did go out of atmosphere, so I don't know about that one. But let's board. Let's board. Uh, uh, board. And we'll head back to the KSC. All right. So let me check how much time I got here. All right. All right. So we don't have too much longer. So what we'll do is, wow, we got a whole whopping 25.1 science. Unfortunately, it rounds down in this game. So any percentage, it just rounds it down to the nearest whole number. So that's unfortunate. But we'll go down here to R&D and unlock survivability. And it looks like we'll be able to uh, get one of these. So I'm going to grab stability, which gives us the radial decouplers so we can have more advanced staging and better aerodynamics. So, yeah. All right. We are down to seven science. And I think we've done pretty good here. So this is Kerbal Space Program. Um, like and favorite if you liked the video. And if you really liked it, be sure to subscribe, and I should have more great content coming out on this channel very soon. So, all that jazz. <laughs> Alright, so, I hope you guys fly safely and fly effectively. This has been Engineer, and I'm out. <laughs>